So I planned on this video being a funny, hey look at all these bugs and how many we can replicate, ha ha ha. I wanted it to be that type of video. Probably wasn't even going to do any voiceover or anything, but as I was bug searching, I ran across my first real contender, waterfalls. The game does not like them. Frame rate slows down, visuals get wonky, things fade in and out. That's all understandable for the hardware, but that's not all I found. I found something consistent and replicable, and I'm going to show you this in all the clips and I'm going to talk because I don't usually do voiceovers over things that are already recorded. But I found that something happens with waterfalls almost every time you try to mess things up. Now, I'm not a game designer or a tester by any means, but I can recognize a bug that didn't have time to be fixed easily. Because this, well, j just watch the clips. So Pokemon just disappear by waterfalls. Like entirely. And that's where I started. I wanted to see where they went. Got some wonky visuals at first, but guys, I can replicate this glitch. I do so many times. The first time I slipped under the water, it wasn't intentional. Then I wanted to see what happened, and I found the first bug I personally had found that had a failsafe. And that means one thing to me. The team working on this game, they knew this bug was happening, but they didn't have time to fix it. So instead, they made the game react in a way that kept your gameplay safe. They didn't have waterfalls figured out. At all. But the game puts you safely on shore if these bugs happen. They knew this was there. They made the only fix they could to repair the problem with that time crunch. Eventually, it effed up so much that I ended up at the Pokemon Center. This was a consistent feel safe as well. If the game couldn't work out a solution, it puts you to safety. And every time I messed with it, every single waterfall I could find, uh, barring one, behaved this way. If you get stuck, intentionally or not, the game unsticks you in the easiest way that the creators could find. I'm going to repeat myself here. With this replicable waterfall functioning, it's clear to me that this is a bug that was given the best fix they could give it in the time limit. And this is where I'm going with this. Time crunch, even and especially on games from big corporations, even and especially on games from big corporations, make games broken. This game is playable for the most part. It's just that no one had time to fix what was broken. They had to come up with quick solutions to fix the problems. Time crunching games needs to stop. Give creators the time that they need to make their games, not to make them not only beautiful but also functional. Give time for quality control, and Game Freak, though you'll never see this video, a game of a, sing, a game every year is too much. There were two games this year in 2022, the most complicated projects they had ever taken on. That was way too much. The people are overworked and can't put out the product they want to, and even if they physically could, they need time to rest and recover so that things don't get overlooked, and most importantly, they're human beings. Human beings that need time to fix mistakes, and sometimes they just need to rest. Sometimes all they can do is put this simple feature like this in. You get stuck in a waterfall, you get put back on shore. Which is a perfectly functional solution, but these days people expect better. In the end, quality should go become before quantity, and most of all, humans should come before products. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was a good introduction to replicable bugs. Uh, please enjoy the rest of the video, um, because I don't have a voiceover for the rest of it, and you can see what I'm talking about. Um, and look forward to more of these replicable bugs in Pokemon Violet, and maybe one day other games too, because this was actually a whole lot of fun.